take this all away Maybe tomorrow But I pray that it's today Now the rapture is only for the bride For the elected In this day that's pulled out The Holy Spirit is calling a bride out of a church Members from every denomination making up a bride And that's the one that's going to be in the rapture the elected ones, foreknown by God from the beginning. And the body of Jesus Christ, the bride will be part of his body, which will, he was the word, and the bride will have to be the word. Now we find here that Enoch was the seventh from Noah, which was a type of the church ages. Now all of the rest of the sixth man before him died. But Enoch was translated. Amen. Amen. Enoch was raptured. Amen. The seventh showing that it's the seventh church age that takes the rapture. Amen. All of the other six died. But Enoch was translated because he was not found. God took him. The end time bride will be called out of the, the rapture without death will be called out of the seventh church age. The bride itself comes out of each age. We read here in Second Thessalonians, or First Thessalonians, it is, uh, The Lord himself shall descend from the heavens with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel and the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. There's three things that has to happen before the Lord himself appears. The first thing happens, a shout, a voice, a trumpet. Jesus does all three of them when he's descending. A shout, what is a shout? It's the message. Going forth first. The living bread of life bringing forth the bride. The first thing comes when he starts descending from the heaven. There's a shout. What is it? It's a message to get the people together. A message comes forth first. Now, light trimming time. Rise and trim your lamps. What watch was that? Some of them found they didn't even have any oil in their lamps. See? But it's light trimming time. It's Malachi 4 time. What he it's Luke 17. It's, it's Isaiah, all those prophecies that it can perfectly set in order for this day in the Scripture. We see it living right there. Amen. No, it's the first thing is this, a shout, then a voice, and then a trumpet. Shout a messenger getting the people ready. The second is the voice of the resurrection. The same voice, that, a loud voice that called Lazarus from the grave. Amen. Getting the bride together and then the resurrection of the dead. To be caught up with it. Watch the three things take place. A shout, a voice, a trumpet. Now the third thing is a trumpet, which always at the Feast of Trumpets is calling the people to the feast. And that will be the bride's supper, the lamb's supper with the bride in the sky. See, the first thing to come forth is his message. Calling the bride together. The next thing is the resurrection of the sleeping bride. The, the one that's died back in the other ages. They're caught together and the trumpet, the feast. In the heavens, in the sky. The only thing the church coming out has got to lay before the sun to ripen. Therefore, the message calls the bride together. The, the shout and the trumpet, the same one who, with a loud voice, he screamed out with that shout uh, and, and voice and woke Lazarus. With a loud voice, he cried, Lazarus, come forth. Amen. See? And the voice wakes up, wakes up the sleeping bride, sleeping dead. And the trumpet, the sound of the trumpet, and when it does, it calls always a trumpet called Israel to the Feast of the Trumpets. Amen. See? Which was a Pentecostal feast, the great feast in the sky, and the Feast of the Trumpets. And now a trumpet denounced a calling together, calling to the feast. And now that is the, the uh, Lamb's Supper in the sky. The Feast of the Trumpets, the wedding supper. We have seen it in types. Now watch just a moment. Three is a witness. Now we've already had three raptures in the Old Testament. Did you know that? As a witness. Now watch. Enoch was one. Elijah was the other. And Jesus was the other. Jesus being the keystone. Now he bear record. See. He was a keystone between the Old and New Testament. Because he had to first die and then rapture. He died come to life and walked around here with us. And then was raptured up. Because he was a keystone that tied the two together. After his resurrection and rapture. Look. After he did that and proved that the Old Testament there. We all know Enoch was translated. We know Elijah was taken up by whirlwind. That right in a chariot of fire. And Jesus died, buried, rose up, and lived here on earth, and then was raptured up. The keystone. There's three to bear record. Is that right? Now, there has been one rapture already passed. 
when Jesus dying, screamed with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks did rent, and the graves were open, and many of the bodies of the saints that slept arose and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city and appeared unto men. One rapture is past. Three is happening in the Old Testament. Notice verse 50. His loud voice awakened the Old Testament saints just exactly like the loud voice awakened Jesus, or awakened Lazarus. Amen. See? The loud voice awakened. And the second is fulfilled in 2 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. That will be the second rapture. The second rapture will be the catching away of the bride. Amen. The Old Testament saints has gone into his presence, paradise, gone away, and uh, Old Testament saints to sit it up at his loud voice when he screamed to give up the ghost and the Old Testament saints awoke. Amen. Watch the shout and the voice over here the same thing at his coming. And the Old Testament saints came to the earth again, walked around on earth and entered in with him at his rapture. Took the Old Testament saints and went in. There's one rapture already passed. Amen. The next rapture takes place is Second Thessalonians for the church, the bride, to be resurrected. One day there will come a blast from heaven and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Them Old Testament saints back under her are waiting a blast forth and come out of there first and go into the resurrection. We'll drop right in line going into the sky as these old mortal bodies changed and made like into his own glorious body. The second resurrection, well, first one's past. The second one is at hand right now. We'll come to hand now. Now the third one is the two witnesses of Revelations 11, 11 and 12. And you remember their dead bodies laid in the street for three days and a half and the spirit of life came into them and they were raptured, taken up into heaven. There's your three raptures of the New Testament, three raptures of the Old Testament. All of them passed. Now we're ready, waiting for the raptures of, of the rapture of the saints. Remember, we're in the last hour. That's the hour that we're looking forward to. Brother. Now when we see the bridegroom all the clouds in the sky Will he be telling you hello or telling you goodbye? Oh, please, sure I'll be ready to meet him first.